Hey YouTube, I uh, decided to start these game dev vlogs. This is number zero. Yes. I'm not a game dev. I started this as just a little bit of hobby of a hobby and the vlogs are here to kind of keep track of my journey and to keep me accountable to doing what I say as well. I see this as an opportunity to improve my coding, to learn some things and just to have some fun really. Hopefully we learn some things along the way. I should also say that I'm focusing a lot of it in Rust. Um, that's the programming language that I'd like to uh, see most improvement in personally. And so it's the one that I'm going to be focusing on for a lot of this game development. So if it seems irrational for me to choose Rust over like maybe Python or something, main reason is because I'm not trying to complete like the most amazing game really quickly. I'm just trying to learn and have fun along the way. So how did I get started here? Well, basically I was going through the Rust forums and I saw someone mention something about roguelikes. It's a type of game. I'd never heard of these before, so I looked into it. And roguelikes are games that are based off a game written in 1980 called Rogue. It was built for mainframe computers and it was an ASCII game. So all the, the graphics were just characters and letters in the terminal. And uh, it was a 2D dungeon crawler. So you like 2D character going through a dungeon. It was mostly procedurally generated. So everything was randomly generated uh, through a seed. And yeah, the whole idea was that the game developers wanted to play something that was a little bit random so that they could enjoy it themselves and not and have like surprises each time they played. Since then, there's been a lot of things called roguelikes and roguish where their games based off these concepts and they build on it and they add graphics or they do something a little bit different. And I'm not gonna get into the argument of what's a roguelike and what isn't a roguelike, but basically it's these kind of 2D games that are kind of like dungeon crawlers and yeah, they're based off of this rogue game and have a lot of these concepts. And I find this game type actually a good starting point for, for myself and also for improving my coding and just having fun with it because you don't have to worry so much about the graphics or the engine side of things. Everything's quite simple there. But there's a heavy focus on like the programming and the architecture and that's really what I'm interested in because there's a lot of coding to be done there. So the procedurally generated parts and the algorithms and things like that, you have to like think about, oh, how do I want to design this? How will all the parts interact? And, and yeah, that's what I find interesting and that's what I'm going to try to get out of this uh, journey. Anyways, from there, I stumbled across a, another uh, forum called Roguelike Dev. Once a year, they do these game jams where they write a roguelike based off this Python tutorial which is very popular among them. It uses these libraries and, and things written mostly in Py Python, it seems. But uh, since we're doing Rust, I did a little bit of searching and I found that there's a Rust tutorial written by Herbert Wolfensen and he wrote his own uh, a roguelike library to go along with the tutorial, which is perfect for me because that's exactly what I want to do here. The library ab abstracts a lot of the complexity for me and the tutorial shows me exactly what to do and how to build these kind of games and even more interesting he doesn't use typical like object oriented programming it uses a lot of what's called entity component system uh, design or architecture which is uh, slightly different to the way the python tutorial does it so I'm going to try to follow that tutorial. I've already started a little bit, actually. It's a huge, <laughs> huge tutorial. There's a ton of chapters, so it may take a while. But um, yeah, what I'll do is the game jam is starting soon. So I'm going to follow the game jam along, follow the tutorial along and see where we are at the end of two months. Hopefully we have a bit of a game that we can even maybe host on a server and use WebAssembly to make it available to all you guys. So if you're watching this maybe in a couple of months, Hopefully below I'll have a link to the to the game and I'll have it hosted somewhere. Yeah, so this library that Herbert wrote, I looked into it a little bit and it's it's been it's used to be called RLTK, now it's called Bracketlib. Um, it's used for entity component systems and he now seems to work at a company called Amethyst and I looked into them and they have a Rust engine, game engine, which is perfect. So this their game engine uses a lot of entity is suited for the entity component system. Uh, suited for 2D games. So what I'm thinking is I go through this roguelike tutorial, a couple of months have uh, something little small thing out and then following that we can get into the Amethyst engine and take a step up and maybe add some graphics and other things to uh, our little ASCII game. So 
yeah, that's the roadmap for our journey here. Uh, there's uh, quite a lot of work ahead of us and I will be doing this in my free time. This is not a full-time thing. This is just for fun for myself. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this game jam to see what we come out with. And if you'd like to learn more about Entity Component System, I will put up a video, another video, uh, follow-up video later and maybe try to explain what, what's, what that's about. Yeah, so tune in next time um, and we'll go through a bit of the tutorial. I'll, see, I'll show you where I'm up to so far with it. Yeah, then we'll start with the game jam and, and start getting into things.